Welcome to Highway Caravan Centre, located approximately 60 kilometres southeast of Melbourne at 1975 Princes Highway, Nanagoon. We're part of the Clough family businesses that have been operating out of this location for over 40 years. Highway Caravan Centre is the number one dealer in southeast Victoria for vacationer and JB caravans and offer comprehensive finance rates and great deals on trade-ins. Our specialised, highly trained technicians in our service and spare parts department offer competitive prices on all caravan servicing, spare parts, minor and major repairs, electrical work and even offer great advice for your next escape. With over 40 new and used caravans in stock, be sure to make Highway Caravan Centre the location of your next caravan adventure. Because every journey begins on the highway. G'day guys, this is Andy from Highway Caravan Centre here in Nanargoon, Victoria. We're doing a walk around video for you today of the JB Dirt Road Extreme Semi Off-Road Van. Now this is a 22 foot family van, so we've got a set of bunks inside uh, and a host of features uh, which will help you get out off the beaten track, get away from the caravan parks and go and explore the country uh, in a really solid, uh, well-built van. So Matt, we're going to have a wander around the outside of the van first, have a little look at the, the um, uh, specifications on the outside and then we'll get inside and have a look at the layout. So Dirt Road Extreme, the orange uh, alu comp that you see on the front determines the, the Dirt Road Extreme range. So in JB, they all have a different color decal. You can change the uh, alu comp color on the front. If you don't want the orange, you can have a, the, the choice of grays there, and, but the decal uh, will stay the same. So that's just a little bit of a point of difference there. Now, on the Dirt Road Extreme, it's a higher specification than the Dirt Roader, although they're still clashed to semi-off-road vans, but we put the corner checker plate on here as well, just to give you extra protection uh, from any rocks or stones that are kicking up from your car. So in addition to that, you've got the stone guard, we've got the Adventure Pack toolbox, two nine kilo gas bottles on the sides. We've got a uh, working light here, LED at the front. Now coming around to the hitch, we've got a DO35 hitch here, which is a superb quality uh, piece of kit. So it comes with a pin with the van, uh, included with the van. The pin is attached to your car, just comes up here and you literally just pop it out to lock it. All right, and then to detach it, push the button down, away you go, put your jockey wheel in, lift the hitch up and away, take your car away. All right, so they come with the new handbrakes uh, for 2019. In terms of connections, we've got a red Anderson plug, which is, operates our electronic stability control. We've got a seven pin round, if I can stop dropping everything here. Seven pin round here, and we've got our reverse camera monitor, uh, in addition to our gray Anderson plug as well, which is for uh, our uh, keeping our battery charged in the van. All right, so there's your connections. Um, we've got mesh on the A-frame as well, not that you're going to get much access to it because we've got our toolbox cover in there. You can get into uh, down here. Uh, we've got the high checker plate on the front. Let's have a look down the side. We'll come back to the tunnel boot in a minute. Uh, we've got an external shower here. This is our cassette for emptying our toilet. Now also, Matt, just want to pop down there. Let's have a look at the uh, battery boxes, which are checker plate covered, and also the protection on the hose here, on your solid hose from your grey water tank. So on the Dirt Road Extreme, we've got 295 litre tanks and, an, and a grey water tank as well. Uh, drop down legs. We've got 16 inch anodized rims here. Looking beautiful bit of kit. Matches the van decals really well. Two inlets for our water tanks. That's our vent uh, for our 28 litre gas and electric hot water system. Um, you just drop down underneath Matt if you can. Just to show uh, everybody the six inch uh, frame here which runs all the way through to the suspension as well. So you're towing from the center of the van nice and strong uh, and you've also got a razor of about four inches there as well on top of that so that gives us the clearance we need uh, and underneath of course we've got the Alco uh, twin shock cross-country suspension which is um, again painted in the uh, matching sort of orange colors for the dirt road extreme um, LED light on the uh, driver side if you like of the van which is good if you're on this side and you need a bit of uh, a bit of light while you're working around that side of the van now let's go into the tunnel boot mat. If you can get the camera in here, I just want to show everyone the plate. So plenty of storage in your tunnel boot here. Now your, your weight is 2795 empty with an ATM of 3500 and a ball weight uh, of 180. 
So for your towing purposes, you'll need to know you've got the vehicle uh, capable of towing. So we've got a, an extra LED light here. So if, you, if you've got a kitchen or a table set up here, that light's gonna be really handy for you uh, at nighttime. And we've got two lights under the awning there as well. Full awning with a center cradle because we've got a 22 foot van, the awning's a little bit longer. So we've got the extra support uh, in the middle there. We've got the, the new security screen on the doors. Roller blind as well. This is our picnic table here. Just coming along to the center of the van, just past the kitchen, we've got an outdoor entertainment unit. So we bring the TV out from inside the van and simply just put it into the bracket that's here. So you don't have to use a table or anything else. 240 connections and also 12 volts. So if you're not on power, uh, you can watch the TV on 12 volt. Now what they've done as well is they've utilized all the space they can. So under the bunks at the back, there's a bit of storage space. So we've got this long section at the front and quite a, quite a decent sized storage section there as well. All right, so we'll move on into the van. Well, I'm just showing you the jerry can holders at the back there and the reverse camera. All right, coming inside the van, we've got an L-shaped lounge, as you can see. Underneath the seat there, we've got a little bit of space for a bit of storage, but your, your hot water uh, unit is under here and your wheel arch is around there. So there's not a huge amount of space under there, but um, you can still get some bits and bobs in there. We've also got a drawer underneath there as well. Now, I'm just gonna show you the queen bed end of the van. We've got two cubby holes here and inside there is a dual power point. You've got your reading lights here, which you can have blue or white. Now looking under the van, uh, under the bed, sorry, you can see we've got a 24 inch TV stored here, your wheel brace and your crank for your drop down legs. And this is the, the box for the DVD players, which we'll uh, show you when we get up to the other end there. Now this cushion here is for the table. So we want to show you how this works. I'll just pop that back down. So if you want a bit of extra comfort at night or you've got an extra person, uh, these tables are designed to go down. So simple operation, foot on the black pedal, send it down there. You can move it with the lever on the side of the table, put it in place, and then you can sort of move and change that as well. So I bring that out so it clears the uh, upholstery, which is um, premium leather upholstery in the, in the dirt road extreme. Put that there, you can use another bed or get your feet up there while you're watching TV, which is just behind my head here, uh, which is pretty useful. So really quick to set up, easy to move, move it around. Just hit the black button there and the table comes up. Now underneath we've got dual power point with two USB connections on there as well. So handy if you're charging your phones or you're watching something um, on 240. Uh, on top of the table. So we'll put that tick cushion back there. Now in the bedroom area, Matt, we've got a couple of Sirocco fans with the Dirt Road Extreme. So we've got these little brackets here that allow you to maneuver it around and they tilt as well. So you can point them in whichever direction you need to. Really handy. There's three speed settings on these. So we'll show you one, two, three. I don't know whether you can hear that. You can just hear that extra speed. And there's also a timer as well. So you can set this to stay on. Uh, if it's really hot one night and you need a bit of fresh air, you can set that to go on here and there's increments of time that you can keep pressing that to go off after a certain period of time. So the 12 volt fans are really, really useful. Put it back there, lock it into storage and the same on the other side. So we've got two of those in this van. Your TV connections are all here and your brackets on the wall just as you come in. You've got the corner cupboards. Um, you swing your TV around so you can watch that in bed comfortably or on the, on the L-shaped couch there as well. So uh, some good features there. Now electrically, the Dirt Road Extreme comes with a superb Red Arc battery management system. They're worth about $2,000 as an extra, uh, but that's included in the Dirt Road Extreme. We've got your battery monitor there, which just shows you what's happening with your voltage and your amperage. 
your gas and electric hot water switches are here, your 12 volt pump, fuse box, that's your power for your microwave, which is next door, or your fridge, sorry, which is next door. And then we've got our readers, our digital readers for our water tank. So two water tanks and a gray water tank there. So that's the electrics all nicely stored away in that cupboard here. Kitchen, as you'd expect, we've got, um, there's a handy little sort of collapse, uh, uh, sort of loop here where it sort of holds onto a screw. So it stops that movement with the van. Lifting that up, we've got a single electric and three gas, uh, full oven at the bottom and our grill there as well. And the bench tops are a matching hinge so you can use that after cooking for uh, extra workspace. We've got our filter tap, round bowl, just, uh, stainless steel sink and our tap here. Microwave up above, our radio here which is connected to the speaker system obviously. Um, above Matt's head there we've got the Dometic reverse cycle air conditioning. We've got um, the tropical Dometic fridges, which are a good piece of kit. They're then new for 2019, that's the latest model. And we've got a large storage, cu storage cupboard just ahead, uh, above, the, above the freezer there, uh, and one below. Now moving into the uh, family end, I guess, of the van, this is quite a large area, so it takes advantage of that 22 foot length of the van. Uh, twin bunks, if you notice here, we've got two drawers, which are quite long and deep. So plenty of storage space. We've got a fixed ladder, and we've also got, for the kids, uh, dual DVD players um, in the top here as well, and one underneath. So each bunk's got its own DVD player. Plenty of cupboard storage with shelves, and we've got a washing machine, of course, below. Um, en suite, plenty of space. Let's have a look at the shower. Good size shower. Again, plenty of space to move around in. Um, some good high clearance as well. We've got a small vanity unit, cupboard below. Uh, and of course the Dometic toilet and we've got two shower rails as well and we've got a switch in here for our light. So that's the Dirt Road Extreme um, family van. Most important thing probably is having the right vehicle to tow the van. As I said, $27.95 for this particular van is the empty tear weight. So a, a new one to order would be very, very similar. Uh, so come down, have a look at the, um, the van in the flesh. The Highway Caravan Centre, 1975 Princess Highway, 9 Argoon, uh, where we can uh, take you around. And uh, hopefully this is the next van that suits your, your, your holiday experiences that you're looking to get out onto. See you soon.